Welcome to Carl's Aquarium. Evil puppy Bailey at all. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, we're a little nuts, and we got a lot of little nuts. Okay, these are acorns. You guys have seen more than you have found, uh, he's got, that was the one where I found that red, uh, newt or salamander or whatever. Found another one where I was collecting the acorns, but, uh, he's got some trees that have to be at least a century old or more. So, of course, uh, the other day I was bored, I collected a box full of nuts. <laughs> um, I got the picture in my phone, hang on. Okay, here it is. Yeah, that's a salt box. So that's the box that contains five, four bags of 50-gallon uh, mix. So that's like three-quarters full. Okay. So what I did, I brought them home. When I was picking them, I tried to sort through them, but, uh, you know, you don't get them all. So if you see a nut that's damaged like that, that's garbage, okay? You gotta have them good and whole. If they got a crack in them like this, you will have this happen. See that oxidization? You can shave that out and save the nut, okay? This is what a good, healthy nut looks like when you crack it. Now, what I've been doing is... Uh, but dehumidifier, yeah, if anybody is in Toronto, I got two 45 pint dehumidifiers, 170 bucks. 239, no, $259 at Home Hardware, $230 at uh, Walmart. If you don't care what the box looks like, because quite frankly the box look like hell. Right, so this box is not too bad. It's a place in uh, Scarborough near uh, Kingston Road in Midland. And uh, I went back there yesterday because, well, <laughs> one out of two of the dehumidifiers didn't work. So we had to go back and change it in. They exchanged it, no problem, no fuss, no muss. While I was there, see, there's my uh, Easy Bake that I've been using for the last few months because I had one that uh, I bought when I was working at PJ's back in 1988 paid a hundred bucks for it it lasted till Christmas dinner last fall Mike and uh, Tam and uh, a bunch of other people were over and the microwave died so this is the easy bake out of the store okay but for a hundred bucks that's uh, one for you can put it over the range it's got lights or you can just set it on it it's got lights now of course the only place we could put it because it was this long was on top of the fridge which considering my son and I are both tall we have no problem he says dad nobody else is going to be able to use it and I said son stool we can get a stool <laughs> so anyhow what you got to do with uh, acorns is get rid of the tannins because they make it very bitter and uh, yeah, it makes you constipated, too. <laughs> if you got some squirts, chew down some acorns. They'll clear you right up. So anyhow, if you see an acorn and it has the prettiest little hole in it, that little hole, oh, isn't that so pretty? Yeah, but that's what's uh, inside that hole. There's this worm. It's kind of white. It looks like a maggot. Apparently, you can eat them, but... Uh, yeah, I'd be more likely to feed it to a cichlid or something. So, if it's got damage, if it's got a crack, it'll look like that, but you can always shave it out. So what I've been doing is I got these out in trays, and I don't got the dehumidifier running right now, but uh, when it is running, we had a humidity level of 45. It's been off for uh, half an hour, but... Uh, We've also been boiling the crap out of these things. Now, what you got to do is never let them cool down. You boil them in water, pour the water off. Now, you guys know me. That is a lot of the water. We're throwing the water down the sink now because the amount of tannins in the water are getting less and less and less. But 
Yeah. If Psycho Puppy or Evil Puppy die, we could use this and tan up the hide, and that way the boy will have his puppy. Yeah, I don't think he'd let me do that. <laughs> I remember when he was a toddler, uh, his mom and I and him were out on the, my brother's farm, and my brother walked over to the truck as we were leaving and handed me a box and said, you owe me five dollars. Okay, so I gave him five dollars and we drove away with the box. And uh, I says, um, what's in the box? And my wife said, uh, a rabbit. Oh, we're getting a rabbit? Well, your brother said that you said it was okay. No. My brother is my older brother. He used to torture the living bejesus out of me. Uh, yeah, Carl, if you let me hit you really hard right in the